In this video, you're going to learn how to determine head loss in a pipe. So here on this drawing here, we have a 300 meter pipe. Right? It's one meters in diameter. And we have a, a flow, a volumetric flow rate of Q of two meters per second flowing through that pipe. And because of the friction within that pipe, we have some head loss. So here are two manometers at the top showing the head loss in this pipe, which is what we're going to solve for. The other characteristic of this pipe is that it has a, a coefficient C of, of 100, and it's a, a smooth pipe. And so we'll use those two other pieces of information uh, to solve for head loss in two different ways. First, we'll solve um, for head loss using the Hayes and Williams method. This is a, a more empirical method. And it's only for water. It's important to remember. And secondly, we will uh, calculate the head loss in this pipe using the Darcy Weisbach method. And this is uh, more um, hydrologically grounded, or hydraulically grounded, sorry. And we'll use the Moody diagram and, and Reynolds uh, number, etc., in the Darcy Weisbach equation. So first, using the Hazen-Williams equation, uh, which is um, head loss, HL, is equal to K multiply Q to the exponent 1.85, where this K here is omega over omega multiplied by L, all over C to the 1.85, multiplied by D to the 4.87. You're probably thinking, these are crazy exponents, and I agree. Um, this is an entirely empirical uh, equation, um, again, for water. Um, and this omega here is um, for the, the, co the coefficient uh, for metric units, uh, which is what we have over here in meters. So to solve for k, we have k is equal to um, 10.66 multiplied by this length of 300 uh, divided by c, which I said over here is 100, to 1.85 multiplied by d, um, which is our diameter of one meter to 4.87, the exponent 4.87, which results in a K value of 0 0.638. Um, then we can substitute that into um, this equation here to solve for the head loss using the Hayes and Williams methodology. So the head loss is equal to um, 0 0.638 multiplied by um, the, the uh, flux Q2 to the exponent 1.85, which um, results in a head loss of 2.3 meters. So that's our first calculation of head loss. The second is using this Darcy Weisbach equation. So here um, we have the head loss, which is um, shown as HLF in your textbook. So I use this notation here is um, uh, equal to this f, which um, we is a, a, a variable that we solve using the Moody diagram, and we'll see this in a second, multiplied by L over D, so your length over diameter, and veloc multiplied by velocity squared over uh, 2g, 2 gravity. So first we need to solve um, for uh, f, using the Moody diagram that we've talked about in class. And for the Moody diagram, we need, um, so we need the Reynolds number. So first we're gonna solve for the Reynolds number. So the Reynolds number, as we've, uh, you've learned in other classes and uh, we've used here, is equal to um, rho V multiplied by um, D again over mu, where V in this case is the velocity in the pipe, and this velocity is equal to the um, flux over the area, and the area is 2 pi r, uh, where r is 0.5 of a meter, so our Q over A is equal to two meters cubed per second divided by pi 
0 0.5 meters squared, which is equal to 2.54 meters per second. So that's our velocity um, for in the pipe uh, to, in order to solve for the Reynolds number. So now we can just substitute in uh, our other known quantities, the density of water, 998.2 kilograms per meter cubed, multiplied by this velocity, 2.54 meters per second, multiplied by um, the diameter uh, of one meter, all over the viscosity of water, 0 0.5. Kg per second meter. Uh, and from that, we get a Reynolds number uh, equal to um, 2.54 times 10 to 6. And so now with that, we need to move to the Moody diagram. And so you'll see the Moody diagram here, and I've circled uh, the, the value for the Reynolds number of 2.54 times 10 to the 6 for a smooth pipe, which is what I said this was originally. And that then results in, uh, it, when you take it over to the left-hand side of the Moody diagram, uh, an F value of 0 0.02. So therefore we have uh, F value equal to 0 0.012. So with this F value and the other parameters that we know for this pipe, then we can solve for our um, head loss. So our HLF is equal to uh, 0 0.012 multiplied by 300 meters over one meter multiplied by 2.54 meters per second squared divided by 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. And after canceling out for units, we get uh, a head loss value um, equal to 1.18 meters. So together, now we've calculated two different estimates of head loss using the Hayes and Williams equation, which is empirical and spe specific to water, and the Darcy-Weisbach equation, um, which is more hydrologically grounded.